most all students all sit down and be in very long. The invention of the so-called official bootleg at this time probably marked the point at which the music industry ceased to make sense to anybody who didn't work in it and began to disappear up its own fundament. The phony war over punk rock in 1976 probably marked the last point at which there was a demand for a variety of music that the industry couldn't immediately satisfy. As the major record companies dithered over the, uh, don't laugh, ethics of signing the likes of The Clash and Susie and the Banshees, enterprising bootleggers rushed out whatever recordings they could get their hands on. In those days, if you wandered up to Camden Market, encountered the right man and made the correct Masonic hand gestures, you could get hold of a copy of Spunk, which was made up of the Sex Pistols' early attempts to record studio back chat and all. 